It's good to see you. I have some things to show you today that I thought you might like. Um, today I have things, um, mainly seashells that we have collected over the years. Uh, some of them we bought and some we found. And I thought that I would show them to you. Our living room is actually kind of set up in a, a sort of a beachy theme, kind of a nautical uh, feel to it. And I'm going to show you some of the, uh, the seashells that we have in our living room. And the first thing I want to show you is this. It's not a seashell, but it's this. It's a little decoration that we keep on our mantle in front of the fireplace that's behind me. And it's made out of uh, resin. It's a um, high density, kind of heavy resin. And it says beach. B-E-A-C-H. And it has little sparkles inside the A. And a little seagull. And some seashells right here. I thought that was really cute. I wanted to show you that first. Now everything else I have is um, seashells. And I think we'll start with two sand dollars. Here's the first one. It's a tiny one. It's a little bitty. It's very small. And this one we found I can't remember which beach we were at when we found it, but we found this one. I've only found one whole sand dollar in my whole life, and this is not it. I'm actually not sure where it is, but we have it around here somewhere. Um, I mean, this is one of the ones that we found. And uh, it's broken right here. It's not perfect. And there's a little hole inside, right in the middle on the back, on the underside. And this one we bought, you know, it's, it's much larger and much more perfect. It has a rough texture, which you can hear when I sort of run my fingernails across. It's pretty thin, as you can see along the sides. And here's the back. In my opinion, I think the ones that you buy are almost too perfect. Um, and they don't really have as much personality, I think, as the ones that you find. But this one is pretty. Um, and I have this one, which we also bought. We didn't, we didn't find this one actually on the back. You can still see part of the tag from where we purchased it. Um, this is a scallop and it has beautiful color. And look at all that pretty color. It's very beautiful and it has lovely ridges to it. Almost like a piece of wood. It's delightful. And here's the back. And you can see <laughs> part of the tag was not removed from it. Uh, it's very smooth on the underside. And it has this little flat piece on the bottom. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of all these shells. Um, this one we bought. I'd love to find one like this. It has little points on it. And it's mainly, um, it's almost a very light pink color. Especially if you look under here. 
It's very light pink. Very beautiful. Lots of detail. And this one is lovely. Look at this one. Just beautiful. It reminds me of an ocean wave crashing, curling over. It's kind of heavy. I have, um, quite a few conch shells um, but before I get to those I think I'll show you some other ones this one is a sea biscuit and this is the top it has a rough texture it's it's weird because it's almost kind of rough and smooth at the same time I don't really know how to describe it <laughs> But, uh, it's got a little weight to it. And, uh, inside, there's a hole on the underside. And inside it are little tiny pieces of shells that I guess just got in there after the shell, after the sea biscuit was empty. And if you listen closely, as I turn it, you can hear those little pieces of shells falling around in there. And uh, it's very faint, but you can hear it. It's like the world's quietest maraca. <laughs> I always liked sea biscuits. I always thought they were really cool. And this one, this is really big and heavy. <laughs> I'm going to be careful with it so I don't damage it. This is a huge piece of coral. And uh, I'm not sure, but I think we actually found this one. I don't, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think we bought this. I think we found this. It's very, very detailed and heavy. <laughs> uh, the underside is a light yellow color. And uh, you can see the little tiny holes inside where the coral lived. These little holes and the shells are the remainders of their little bodies. It almost feels like to me, it almost feels like very rough concrete. I'm going to turn it. And the color changes depending on where you look at it. This part is more gray. It's very rough. And here's where it broke off. Right here. Right on the bottom. So this would have been sticking up like this. It almost looks like a hand, like a hand in a mitten. <laughs> and all the little tiny holes inside remind me of a sponge. You can see down into the holes and it just reminds me of a sponge. And I have a 
sea snail and uh, this one I think we did find um, I've only found a few complete shells of these mostly most of the time when you find them they're they're broken um, I do believe we did find this one and it's really cute <laughs> looks like a little tire a little wheel for a car it's hollow, of course. Nothing has lived in here in a while. You can hear how hollow it sounds. It's very pretty. And this rim right here is very smooth. The entire shell is fairly smooth, but the underside is... is a little bit more smooth. And we have this band of brown that runs here. And I have one more. Um, I think we found this one as well. This one is a whiter color. And it's not as defined. I mean, you can see it's been worn down by the water over time. And, uh, it's not as defined as the as the first one. If you compare the two, if you look at them together, you can see that one is definitely more colorful, and uh, the the swirls stand out more. And this one has been tumbled around in the waves and the surf more, and it's it's smoothed down more. But it's also hollow, just like the other one. It's very lovely. And, um, this one we found. I love this one because of the colors. The pretty blue, sort of a slate blue with gray. <clears throat> this is how the underside looks. And it has little, little streaks of brown <clears throat> in it. Very pretty. You can see the ridges. It reminds me of a potato chip <laughs> right along the edge. And this one we bought. This one is, uh, and I don't, I don't know the name of this. I'm not really sure what they're called, but, um, and to me, it reminds me of the, of the top of a missile. <laughs> Looks like a missile. Very slick and smooth. I know a lot of the gift shops that sell seashells, they, um, they polish them. Well, the, the people that they buy the shells from polish them to make them shinier. And sometimes they add additional color to make them stand out a little more and make them a little more vibrant. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. It's pink and white. Kind of like a piece of peppermint candy. <laughs> and it's hollow inside. There's a parking deck uh, where I work, uh, down the street from where I work. And part of the parking deck, the way you can come out, <clears throat> if you're parked on one of the higher levels, on one side of the parking deck, there is a swirly, I don't know what you really call it. It's like a, um, it's an, it's an exit, uh, swirling ramp to get out of the parking deck faster. Instead of going around and around inside the parking deck, you can go down this big circular thing and each level has an entryway onto it. And it kind of reminds me of this, the way it goes around and around and around and around all the way down to the street. 
and it's just a faster way to get out of the parking deck if you're on one of the higher levels. And it reminds me of this. Of course, there's no point to the bottom of the, the off-ramped parking deck, but it kind of reminds me of this. It also sort of looks like a tornado, <laughs> or maybe the bottom of a beehive. The way they, like a hornet's nest, sometimes they come down to a, more of a point at the bottom. It's kind of like that. It has a very um, uh, pearlescent, multicolored finish right on the inside that you may not be able to see, but it's right in this section. It's just a really cute shell with a little point. And I have several uh, starfish. I'll start with this one. Um, it um, almost to me, when I run my finger across it, it sounds like a large piece of cork. It just has sort of a, a sound, almost like if you were um, holding a large piece of cork and running your finger over it. It kind of has the same sound. Um, I hope you can hear this. It's very bumpy. <laughs> and this is the underside. Lots of detail. And it kind of curves up on the ends. It's pretty lightweight. And then I have this one, which looks more like uh, what I think to me when I typically think of a starfish, I think of one that looks like this without all the pointy stuff on top. Um, it's kind of the same color as the other. It's more of a brown, sort of a beige color. <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's also pretty light. It's got little bumps all over it. It kind of reminds me of the back of a toad. Uh, the toads that we have around here kind of have not, not really knobby skin, but sort of skin with little small bumps on the top of their skin, kind of like that. Sort of reminds me of that. There's the underside. And I also just noticed there's a little tiny hole in the top. Very small little hole right there, right in the top. It's almost like a pinhole. So that's that one. And I have this little guy who sort of reminds me of a little man who's really excited. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I guess it's uh, kind of like Patrick from Spongebob. <laughs> this one's more rough. It has some um, a different texture. It's, it's more um, pointy on the top and on the bottom. It feels like um, something you definitely wouldn't want to get near your pantyhose because it would pick them all to pieces. And here's the underside. Oh, and there's stuff in this one too. When you turn it, you can hear uh, little pieces of um, just ocean debris, tiny little pieces of shells inside. It's very faint. like a happy man. <laughs> and that's it for my starfish. I do have um, another piece of coral. Um, and I don't think we found this one. I think we bought this. But it has um, 
I think it got near a candle at some point because there's a little piece of wax on it right there. And I don't want to try to pick it off because I'm afraid I'll damage it. It's very fragile. You want to handle these um, things like this very carefully. So I've not tried to remove it. I thought I might try to heat it up and maybe see if I could get it to come off, but I haven't done that yet. <coughs> and here's the underside where it uh, broke off. And right here, a piece has broken. It's broken off here. It looks like there must have been another uh, extension, another bit here that came out, but it is no longer there. It's very rough, but very pretty. It kind of looks like ice crystals to me. Just sort of ivory colored ice crystals in a way. The way the ice can crystallize and uh, form different uh, the branches off and forms different shapes. And I have one more piece of coral. This one's pretty heavy. And I believe this is a different type of coral. <clears throat> and this one we purchased somewhere in a gift shop at the beach. Uh, and it has these sides to it that to me remind me of sort of um, like rock cliffs next to the ocean. They can have sheared sides like this. Kind of reminds me of that. It's quite dense. It's very heavy on the top. It sort of looks like a brain. <laughs> Just a, it doesn't have the two lobes like a human brain, but it does sort of remind me of a brain. This is the underside. And it has sort of a rounded out part here. And it has holes in it. Various holes inside the coral. And now for the conch shells. I'm not sure where I should start. I have so many. I'll start with this little one right here. I personally found this one myself. I was very proud. It's a little guy, but I thought he was really cool. Ooh, he's a little dusty. <laughs> I apologize. These have been sitting um, on the lower shelf of our coffee table for quite some time, and I obviously have not dusted it lately. <laughs> but it, it's really cool. It's broken in a few places, but I still think it's pretty. It goes around, and of course down here it, uh, it has larger pieces, and as you go up, they get smaller and closer together, up to the point right there. And then I have one that's slightly larger. This one is one that my mom found at the beach uh, probably back in the 50s after uh, a big hurricane came through she and my dad went to the beach and this was back when you could drive on the beach and they had a little volkswagen beetle and they drove their beetle they were there with some friends and they drove their beetle up and down the beach just picking up dozens of these big conch shells and this is one of the ones that they found and my mom gave it to me and she said they came back with probably two bushel baskets full of conch shells. They were just, she said they were just everywhere, all up and down the beach. And, uh, and they took them home, and this was one of them. It's quite nice. And now you probably wouldn't find one that looked like this in a gift shop because, you know, they polish them up and they make them nice and pretty. I think one like this is nicer. Um because it, it looks real. I mean, you know that this is this is the way it looked. This is the way it came out of the ocean. It's not perfect. It's not nice and shiny and, and you know, super colorful. It's just more genuine to me than a nice, perfect looking one. It's just, it's just lovely. And these shells to me bring back memories of my parents. 
You know, I just, I, I can only imagine what they were like. You know, that was more than 50 years ago. I can just see them driving along the beach in their little Volkswagen Beetle, <laughs> picking up shells. <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. So there's that. And I have another one that they found on the beach that day. It's sort of a blue color. It's a big old blue shell. They found several blue ones and she, my mom gave me this one. And uh, I think it's really pretty. I love this color. Uh, it's just, it's just beautiful. I just, I don't really understand what leads to uh, different uh, shells being different colors. I know it has to do with um, their diet or maybe the environment they lived in that changes the colors. But this is just gorgeous. I've been to the beach after a storm and I found some absolutely breathtaking shells and, and no two are ever the same and you just you never know what you're going to find. And I've just found some truly beautiful shells at the beach. We didn't make it to the beach this year. Maybe next year. We had a really busy summer and just we just never made it. two more blue conch shells that I'll show you just briefly. Um, I'm not sure where. This is not one that my mom gave me. This is one that we got somewhere else. I don't think we found it. I don't really know where we got it, but it's got, it has some damage to it that the other one didn't have. Uh, it's almost the color of gravel, or the gravel where I live. A lot of it comes out sort of this color, and it's some It'll have some white in it, and then it has this blue to it. Kind of reminds me of this. This one's heavier than the other one. I have one more that has more uh, white to it. And a great big hole. <laughs> and this, I think this is one we found. It's uh, more washed out. It looks like acid washed denim to me. <laughs> hmm. It's more worn down along the edges than some. Most of the ones that you buy are, are much more, uh, they're not all worn out like that. But you know, this, this guy's seen some things. This one's been around a while. I kind of like him for that. He's had experience. Um, all right. I don't know if I showed you this one or not. Here's just a plain white conch shell. I might have already shown you that one. I think I did actually. Okay. Now here's one. Look at this. He's flaky. He's got flaky stuff that's coming off. This one I believe we bought. I know we didn't find it. Um, but it, uh, it looks nice. I think we had this one on the mantle. And uh, it almost feels like cedar. If you've ever uh, felt the side of a cedar tree, it has this flaky, papery stuff kind of on it. And, uh, you can run your finger along it and it and it has some just an interesting sound. It feels like wood. It doesn't even feel like a seashell. 
It's extremely shiny under here. <laughs> we have, um, in my area, we have freshwater clams. And a lot of them, if it's an old clam, kind of has thick shells like this along the edges. And it reminds me of one of those freshwater clams. A lot of them aren't that thick, but some are. And one more. This one, ooh, this one is very heavy and it still has the price and grease marker written on it. <laughs> This one we bought at a thrift store and it was a dollar twenty-one cents and apparently I didn't remove that. So we got this for a dollar twenty-one. It's quite heavy. It's it's impressively heavy. It splays out like that and up and it swirls around. It reminds me of a beautiful uh, woman's dress. Like some dresses you can twirl and they do like that. You know, when you when you twirl around, they go. They just do like a wave, like that. Just like that. It's like an oscilloscope, just like that. It has a lot of pink and gray to it. And just this is just beautiful. Look how smooth it is. Don't pay attention to how dusty it is. <laughs> I haven't dusted this one either. <laughs> But you can you can almost hear the weight to it yet it's still hollow inside but it's very heavy I'm gonna rest it on the table <laughs> and a big old hole in the top Ooh, it's very heavy And I have shell debris all over my table. <laughs> so, and that's all my shells, the bigger ones. I do have a container of some smaller shells, if you're interested. We have a, um, a glass bowl of little shells that we keep on our coffee table. Let's see if I can get it here. Here we go. And I'm not going to show you everything, but I'll show you a few. This is just adorable. Look at this little tiny guy. Look how cute he is. Yeah, this would almost make a nice pendant. You could um, hang it, put a hole in it, and hang it from a necklace. It's just cute. And this one, um, I can't remember what these are called. Something bonnet. No, no, that's not right. Uh, never mind. I'm sorry. We found this one. It's very shiny and colorful, but this one we found ourselves just like this. Isn't it pretty? It almost looks like a, a beetle, some kind of an insect. <laughs> but we found this one. We did not buy that. And we were very proud of that. Mm. And there are a ton in here. I'm just showing you some of the ones on the top. This one's really cute. It almost reminds me of an ice cream cone, <laughs> like this, like soft serve ice cream. And it's just so cute. These are so small. That's why we put them all in a, um, just in a glass bowl that we put on top of the coffee table for people to see. And, um, we did try to put the prettiest ones on top. <laughs> and this one's really cool. This one reminds me more of, of ice cream, I think. Just think of the swirl. Very tiny. This is interesting. This we found at the beach a couple years ago. And we think it's some kind of a bone. Maybe a whale bone. Or um, some ocean mammal bone. That's very worn down. Now it might not be I don't, I don't know for sure, but we thought it was very interesting that you can see that inside, it's, um, it's not, uh, it's hollow inside. It's not solid. It's very worn down. It's just very interesting. And we're not really sure what it is, <laughs> but we stuck it in here. 
but I hope that you enjoyed my video. Um, we love shells, and this isn't all of them, but I just wanted to take some time today to show you some of them, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.